Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the start of an exciting series, new series on my channel, where I'm trying everything in Japan, from fast food chains, Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, you, you name it. Like, this is a series where I try Japanese drinks at like American food chains. So, first up, I'm going into Starbucks. I'm in the parking lot right now. If you hear this, we're in a typhoon right now. <laughs> yes, I'm out driving at Starbucks during a typhoon. If you know me, this isn't weird. <laughs> um, so, I mean, let's be real. There's a typhoon every week here, so it's not a big deal. It's nothing I'm not used to. It's just a little strong wind and that's it. Everybody else is out. The only ones that are freaking out about it are Americans on base. They're, they literally went and bought up all the food at the commissary. They've closed down everything on base, like the stores. And then I go out in town and literally everything is open. Everything. And the grocery stores are fully stocked. So, Americans. Anyway, let's head inside and I'm going to get this month's new drinks and pastries. Can I get one of these? Okay. Okay, <laughs> I got the goods. Let me take this off because it's really hot. Like this is what I'm frustrated with about Japan is it'd be raining all the time, but it's so hot you can't even wear a jacket. Like, let me show you guys what I got. So the first thing that I got was this chestnut or Marin, Maron, Maron. I don't know how they say it, but it's it's chestnut um, frappuccino. So this is what it looks like. They put some chestnuts on top of it. And I don't know what the pink stuff is, but that's what it looks like. And then I got their, one of their pastries. The other one just didn't look that good. It was a, it was a loaf, like a slice of a loaf. It just didn't look good. Anyway, this looked amazing though. So let me show you this. This, that's what it looks like. It's so cute. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm about to crank up this car because as I said, it's like extremely hot. I'm sweating. I kind of messed up my hair. and I mean, it wasn't so great to begin with. Oh, air. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, as I was saying, this little pastry was 590 yen, which is about three, four dollars USD. So, it better be good. And then this was just four, seven. This was 4.17 yen. Paper straw out. I hate paper straws. How do you feel about paper straws? I just, <laughs> I think they're so stupid. What is the point? What is the point in having a paper straw to save the turtles and cut down on plastic, but yet this, this it's all plastic. Like, can I have a normal straw again, please? I'm gonna, ew, it has chunks in it. They did have a, a chestnut latte. I had a chestnut latte that I might try next time. I just didn't want coffee today because it makes me all anxious and sweaty and <laughs> I just don't want to do that today because I'm stuck at home all day. So let's try this. Wait, it kind of tastes like coffee. It's so good. Like I, I wish I could describe it, but I can't. It has like, it tastes like it has some kind of like grape or something in it, like fruit puree. And then it kind of tastes like coffee and it's just very sweet and chestnutty. <laughs> Maybe I'll get better explaining these things. I want to start doing a thing where I will like go to Starbucks and try their drinks and then go get lunch at like McDonald's and try their new burger because everywhere in Japan here, like McDonald's, Burger King, Starbucks, any kind of American chain always has something new like every few weeks or every month. So maybe we can make that a thing where we get Starbucks and go get lunch or go get lunch and then go to Starbucks. Whatever. Uh, anyway, here we go. I don't know what this little jelly stuff is. Oh, it's definitely jelly. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's like some kind of yellow jelly stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it 
<laughs> no! No! Ah! It tastes like... It's grainy. Like, it kind of tastes like a potato. Oh! I'm glad that wasn't the on the whole thing. It was just a little topping, so... Hopefully the actual cake is a little better. A lot better, hopefully, actually. I guess I'm gonna have to just hold it in the box because I cannot, I physically cannot eat it in my hand. So let's get some of that. Oh, there's another layer underneath it. It's like a pink. Huh, so get some of that too, I guess. Oh, it does have those things inside it. Ew, okay. Here it goes, got a little everything. It's good. It's really good. It's a lot sweeter than the frappuccino. Those little yellow things that I just gagged over, don't taste, you can't taste them at all. So it actually turns out that it has four layers. It's really good. Last month I missed out on their little special. They had three frappes that were new. They had, it was like each prefecture that was like famous. So they had Okinawa, Ishi, Ishi Ishikawa or Ishigaki? I think it was Ishikawa. And then there was something else. I forgot which island it was, but you can go to Starbucks Japan on Instagram, follow them, see what they're coming up with, um, and see what I'm talking about. But I wanted to try one. It was like a, it was a tea, a tea frappuccino, which I've had one before. It was like a honey white chocolate tea latte. It was super good. It was Earl Grey tea. Mm. I love Earl Grey. It's like naturally sweet. But, yeah, I didn't get to try those. They sold out way before, like, literally the day of, sold out everywhere. And then we were also traveling in Tokyo, so I didn't really get to go there. Because I was trying to save money for Starbucks Reserve, the biggest Starbucks in the world. Um, I didn't want to drink coffee at all during my trip. So, and I didn't. I'm proud of myself. That was it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, like the video. Um... Let me know what you want to see me try and I will see you guys in the next video.